Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about quadratic functions, uh, first about their graphs, and then we're going to apply that to a couple word problems. Um, so we're going to look at two functions. Um, these are in two different forms. So number one is what's called vertex form. And this is just the general form or standard form. Um, for each of these, we could write these with letters. So we could say this is f of x is equal to a times x minus 1 squared minus, whoops, I, I did the numbers, h there, and then plus k. And then this one would be f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, we're just going to go through this list and kind of talk about how to find each of these things. So first, opening up or down. So here you look at the a value. Is a If a is positive, it opens up. And if a is negative, then it opens down. So let's just focus on number one. Um, here, A is just one. It's the number in front of the parentheses, and it's positive. So this is going to open up, which means it's going to have a minimum value, a minimum value with the bottom of the vertex. Um, and then the vertex is an axis of symmetry. Um, the vertex in vertex form is just HK. And so you get to just look at it and see. So the vertex here. It's h, since it's negative h, it's always the opposite sign um, inside the parentheses, and then you keep the sign out here. So the vertex is, actually, let me use a different color. So the vertex is 1 and negative 2. So this one opens up. We know the vertex. And then the axis of symmetry is always just x equals, we'll write that up here, x equals, and then it's the x value of the vertex. And we'll talk about that when we sketch a graph a little bit more. So the axis of symmetry, uh, we'll just do AOS down here, is x is equal to 1. Um, so let's go ahead and graph this, or sketch a graph, so we can talk a little bit more about that. Um, here... We have 1, negative 2, and we know it's going to open up. And so we could sketch a graph from here. Uh, since we're going to find the x-intercepts and y-intercepts, um, let's we'll wait to do that. Um, but the axis symmetry, if this is the vertex, then the axis symmetry is a line that cuts the parabola in half, so it can be folded on itself, and it goes through the vertex. It's not actually part of the graph but it's a way to describe the graph and help you find points on the graph. Okay, domain and range. Domain is a little bit easier uh, for quadratics because there are no problems here. Um, it's just all real numbers. So we're going to say from negative infinity to infinity. That would be for every parabola. There's no fraction. There's no value for x that you can't plug in. Um, and then range... Range, we go from the bottom to the top. This is a graph that's going to open up. So the lowest value is negative 2. And then it's going to go up forever to infinity. Okay, so for the x and y intercepts, for the y intercept, I can plug in 0 for x. And for the x intercept, I can plug in 0 for y. Let's make a little xy table here to keep track of that. So if I plug in 0 for x, what do we get? So you plug in 0, you get negative 1 squared. Um, and then, so it's 1. And then minus 2 is negative 1. So that gives me a point on my graph. And then if I use my axis of symmetry, I can count over to find another point. So every point um, that lines up horizontally is the same distance from the axis of symmetry. So I can just count over one, and then over one more, and I have a point. For the, um, that was the y-intercept. For the x-intercept, we plug in zero for y. So this sometimes takes a little bit more work to do. So if I plug in zero for y, or for f of x, 
I get zero is equal to x minus one squared and then minus two. So we need to solve for x. So I add two and then I square root both sides. And when you square root, you have plus or minus. So it's plus or minus the square root of two x minus 1. And I'm going to move the x over here. So x is equal to when you add 1 to both sides, 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. So to put that on a graph, if you wanted to, you might want to get an estimate of those two points. Um, one thing, make sure you take plus or minus right here, not at the very end. Um, and then if you add 1 plus the square root of 2, then you get uh, we'll just run it to 2.4 and then 1 minus the square root of 2. You get negative um, 0 0.4. So these aren't like great points. You know, I'm just going to kind of estimate those. But those are the, where those two x-intercepts are. A lot of times... A, quadratic will have two x-intercepts, but it doesn't always have um, two x-intercepts. Uh, it depends on where the vertex is and which way it opens. So let's go ahead and sketch this graph. This might help you see range a little better. You see the smallest is negative two, and then it goes up forever on that. And then the max and minimum value. Um, the max or min occurs at the vertex, but it, we want to be specific. So it is a minimum because it's the lowest. And the minimum, whoops, let's say of is the y value. So the minimum is negative 2. It occurs at x is equal to 1. So if we say what's the minimum value, really the minimum is negative 2. That's it. A lot of times I'll say, well, well when does it occur? And it happens when x is 1. And then the increasing, decreasing, um, it's going to, from negative, go left to right, so go all the way left. And if I'm thinking about, like, riding on the curve, it's going down, 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 down until x is 1. So from negative infinity to 1, excuse me, we're decreasing. Whoops, I, I was, we are decreasing, then, but I wrote it next to increasing. Making a mess here. I apologize. So I'm decreasing from negative infinity to one, and then we're increasing from one to infinity. So remember, increasing and decreasing always uses x values. Okay, um, and then let's write it in the other form. Okay, so to write this in standard form to get it to look like this, you foil this out, and we'll do that up here. So we make this x minus 1 times x minus 1 and then minus 2. So we get x squared minus x minus x is minus 2x plus 1. 1 times 1 is positive 1 and then minus 2. And so f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x and then minus 1. So this is the standard form. This is the vertex form. Okay, let's try this with standard form. Okay, so some things are the same. So this um, function opens up, opens down rather, sorry. This opens down because A is negative. Um, the vertex, we have a little more work to do with the vertex. We have to do x equals negative b over 2a. This is part of the quadratic formula, um, but it will give you the vertex. This is something you need to memorize. It's kind of tough to memorize, um, so write it down. Try to use it. x equals negative b over 2a. A lot of times you memorize that, but you don't remember what it's for exactly. So this gives you the x value of the vertex. So the x value of the vertex is b is 4, so make that negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. So positivity if you need to, and make sure you know where those numbers come from. Um, and then that should be positive 2 for x. So now if I know x, I can find y, just like I do with any function if I know x. I can plug it in and find y. So plug 2 in, 
careful here. Um, I may write this out so I don't make a mistake. So negative 2 squared plus 4 times 2 minus 1. Um, and this is f of 2. And so I get 4 and then minus 2. So it's minus 4 plus 8. So it's positive 4. Minus 1 is 3. So the vertex is 2, 3. And you can check these in your graphing calculator, um, but it'll be good to know how to do these by hand too. Um, and then after that, um, let's do the, what well, we can write in the other format. That's not too bad because now I know the vertex. So keep in mind in this form, the vertex is H and K and this is A and it's the same A that's over here. So A is negative one. So we could write this as f of x is equal to, um, let's see here, negative one, and then x, change the sign to the x coordinate and keep it for the y coordinate. So it's negative x minus two squared and then plus three. <clears throat> so that's vertex form. Okay, the axis symmetry comes right away. It's just the x value of the vertex. And then that gives us enough to start our graph. And we have this axis of symmetry, which is not part of the graph. It's not a, sometimes we represent that with the dash line. You don't have to put it on the graph though. And then let's find our intercepts. So let's just plug in zero for X up here. So plug in zero, that's quick in standard form, zero, zero, minus one. That gives me another point. One, two, one, two. <clears throat> and then to plug in, um, to find the x intercept, you're going to have to use a quadratic formula. Man, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, you're going to have to. So we plug in zero for y. Let's see. Let's put this in here. So plug in zero for y. And then you get negative x squared plus 4x minus 1. So if that factored, you could factor. We'll do the quadratic formula kind of quickly. Uh, negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c. Man, I'm running out of room. I apologize for that. All over 2a, which is just negative 1. So that'd be negative four. And this is where the quadratic formula's errors occur is underneath the radical. So if I were you, don't come up with these two numbers. Just type it all on at once. So four squared, if I can find my squared, uh, four squared and then minus four times A, which is negative one times C. <clears throat> which is also a negative one. And so I can see 12 over negative two. Now this can be reduced. I'm not too worried about you reducing this um, if you don't want, but let's go ahead and do it. Take out a four, so that's the square root of four is two. And then all of these can be divided by negative two. So it'd be x equals 2 plus or minus and then square root of 3 because those twos cancel. Okay, and we, we won't worry about putting that on the graph. I guess you could we could just figure out what side it's on. So 2 plus square root of 3 is 3.7. This would be pretty close to there and pretty close to here using your axis of symmetry. <clears throat> okay, and then domain for this is all real numbers. Or negative infinity for infinity. Range, the lowest point is negative infinity. And it goes all the way up to three with a bracket. 
three is included in the y values. And then the max is three. And it's when x is equal to two. And then the increasing, decreasing, let's see. Um, actually, let's move this over so you can see that a little better. Okay, and then it increases. Remember, these are x values. So from negative infinity all the way up until x is 2. And then it decreases from 2 to infinity.